Meet Stu and Dent, two typical high school students. Stu comes from a pretty great home where he's got access to a smartphone, tablet, and laptop, all the tools he could ever need. Dent's family just can't afford that right now. Luckily, Stu and Dent earn a class with a laptop cart. But because there are only 10 computers in that cart, Stu and Dent have to share each computer with at least four other students. That just doesn't work. Although students work in groups, those without their hands on the computer just disappear from the lesson. Stu and Dent are in the same small group for a project. Stu has this great idea for the project and wants to use his smartphone, tablet, and laptop on the new school wireless. But when he tries to connect his personal equipment, he's blocked from the school Wi-Fi. Stu wonders how he can get access to the internet on his devices at his favorite coffee shop, but not at school. Back in class, he must power down his devices and rely on only those few class machines. And hopefully, he'll be one of the lucky few to get access. Of course, because Stu has so much access to technology at home, he's a whiz at it. So guess who jumps to the group's aid to get the project done? Stu! And again, everyone else just fades away. But what if Stu could use his own devices? There's a new push for BYOD. Bring your own device. Where Stu could get internet access at school with his tablet. And his classmates could use their smartphones, you know they've got them, or even a personal laptop. And now Dent can have that much needed access to the school computer from the laptop cart. Now no one disappears. So let's put a big dent in the digital divide. Provide for the students that really need our help while helping students that have personal access learn how to use those devices to be productive, lifelong, 21st century learners.